Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Dean of the College of Arts and Letters at Michigan State University, Christopher P. Long. Everyone. Welcome to Michigan State University and the Wharton Center for the Performing Arts. My name is Chris Long, and it is a pleasure, and it is a pleasure as Dean of the College of Arts and Letters to host this celebration of the 50th anniversary of the creation by Congress of the National Endowment of the Arts and the National Endowment for the Humanities. This is a special night for the state of Michigan, which has a long and rich history of placing arts and culture at the center of public life. The National Foundation for the Arts and Humanities Act of 1965 that created the NEA and NEH reinforces what we in Michigan have long understood. Quote, democracy demands wisdom and vision in its citizens. It must therefore foster and support a form of education and access to the arts and the humanities designed to make people of all backgrounds and whatever, wherever located masters of their technology and not its unthinking servants, end quote. In an era in which we have never been more connected, deep, meaningful relationships have never been more difficult to establish. At a time when we have never been, had more access to information, real wisdom, the kind of wisdom democracy demands, remains elusive. The act of Congress that created the NEA and NEH recognized that in a period of rapid technological development, the flourishing of our nation depends upon our willingness to support the arts and humanities by placing them at the center of the education of our citizens. The arts and humanities empower individuals to think critically, imagine creatively, and respond ethically to the most challenging social, cultural, and political questions of our time. Their power lies not only in the creativity and discovery and innovation they enable, but also in the ways they cultivate a deep holistic understanding of the complex world we share. The federally funded grants the NEA and NEH provide have had a lasting impact on the lives of the citizens of the United States and of the state of Michigan in particular. As Dean of the College of Arts and Letters at Michigan State, I'm reminded daily of the transformative power of an arts and humanities education, access to which is fundamental to our land grant mission. The arts and humanities informed the design of the Michigan State campus, and they continue to be at the core of our curriculum and to animate our ongoing efforts through community outreach and study away programs to expose our students to a wide diversity of perspectives. So what we've come together tonight to celebrate is not only the founding act that created the NEA and the NEH, but more importantly, the lasting impact of the work these two important institutions have empowered us as citizens to undertake. As a nation, we are more creative, more innovative, and more ethically attuned to the grand challenges of our time than we could ever have been without the NEA and NEH. And as a state, we in Michigan are better able to respond with vision and, yes, with wisdom to the intractable social, environmental, and ethical issues we face. With this in mind, let us congratulate the NEA and NEH on their 50th anniversaries, even as we wish them a bright and promising future. So let's give them a round of applause. <clears throat> Now I have the pleasure of introducing tonight's MC, Nathan Triplett, the mayor of the city of East Lansing. Mayor Triplett was first elected to the East Lansing City Council in 2007. He is also the president of the Michigan Municipal League and is a member of the Capital Area Transportation Authority, CATA, 
and LEAP, the Lansing Economic Area Partnership. Nathan is a past president of the Rotary Club of East Lansing and is recipient of the Governor's Service Award and the MSU Distinguished Young Alumni Award. It is fitting that Mayor Triplett serves as our MC this evening as it reinforces the rich and enduring relationships between East Lansing and Michigan State University. In 2014, he was recipient of the inaugural Civic Leadership Award from the Arts Council of Greater Lansing, and he championed a percent for art public art requirement ordinance, making East Lansing the only municipality in Michigan with such a program for public and private developments. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming tonight's MC to Wharton Center Stage, Mayor of East Lansing, Nathan Triplett. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be with you this evening to mark this momentous occasion, the 50th anniversary of two institutions that have had a transformative impact on our country, on the state of Michigan, and right here in the city of East Lansing.